everybody, my name is Jana. Thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be showing you some miniatures from ZZYY. C Z Y Y. Well, I've done some videos for ZZYY where they sent me some products to review in the past. And in this video, I really just wanted to focus on their miniatures. So I ordered three sets from them. I ordered the fantasy figures, uh, the Dwarven figures, and the cart and wagon set. Now both the miniature figures came with six figures and each of those sets were $11.99. The cart and wagon set was the most expensive one. It was about $20. And as I talk, I'll just be showing you some of the footage from me opening up the boxes and assembling the figures. So first off, I did start with the miniatures. Uh, as you can see, they come in a little plastic container and just like a board game you just pop out the the miniatures now in the instructions they tell you to use an exacto knife to break free to cut free the the figure so it doesn't break because they are pretty easy to break which i found out i did not use knife because i was lazy and i just was punching them out with my fingers uh, so one of them did get damaged but that was definitely user error other than having to be really careful popping them out, they're very easy to assemble. You just place the two um, figure, the, the two halves that make the figure back to back, and then you insert that into the stand. What I really like about CZYY is they always include little free gifts. So I got two extra minis in my set, two little dogs, which I was really excited about because I was kind of, wanting the dog miniatures anyway they have a whole set of just dogs so yeah i was i was happy they also come with a little nail file uh, which is helpful for just kind of filing down the wood pieces that are a little too hard to get into place it really makes it easier for assembly so i appreciate that each set came with its own nail file the cart and wagon set was more involved than the miniatures. So the set comes with six different carts that you get to build and I and all the wheels work and spin once they're assembled. It also came with a few extra props. There are horses for each of the carts that require them. There's a barrel and there's a cage for the jail cart, which I really liked. There's also these tiny little boxes that you have to assemble by squeezing the little sides together and then capping it on top. And let me tell you, those were hard to do. So a couple months ago, I did a video about assembling a boat that I had purchased from CZYY and that was hard. I would say on a scale from one to 10, the boat was probably an eight nine maybe and the carts and wagons is probably like a five the box is being the hardest part of that if you would like to check out that video of the boat i'll leave a link to that in um, the cards above i just want to take this moment to remind any of you if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you're enjoying my content you're probably gonna lot like a lot of my other videos I do a lot of board game reviews, but I also cover Spirit Island and D&D, and I also talk about sustainability and board gaming. When I talk about them being difficult to assemble, it's not a bad thing. My kids are really into Legos right now, and when we purchase them a set of Legos, they just are enthralled in building them and then having this cool toy afterwards. That's how I feel when I'm building a CZYY kit because it's a puzzle. Everything is designed to fit just right. They're very cleverly put together. And when you have done it, when you, when you have built your miniature, it looks awesome and you feel pretty stinking proud of yourself. So it's very akin to doing Legos. So now I'm gonna go over some pros and cons to the CZYY miniatures. I'm gonna start with the cons, and that's basically they're a little fragile. Uh, even if a P 
piece of a miniature doesn't completely break off. They can kind of shred a little bit. However, I think after I um, paint them and then put a var like a, put a finish on them, it will help kind of solidify those fibrous bits of the miniature. The other thing is, as cool and detailed as the miniatures are, they don't have quite the same amount of detail and dynamic look that a 3D miniature has. It is still rather two-dimensional looking, so if you just can't get past that, then, you know, you just can't get past that. Now for the pros. The first thing is they're super fun to build. They have great table presence. They're made from a natural material, wood. They're extremely affordable. The kits came with six figures each. The little miniatures were $11.99, which, I mean, you can't really beat that. And then the carts, even though that kit was more expensive, it was $20, it came with lots of extra props. All the kits were very affordable and I think a great value for the amount of money that they are. When you get a CZY box, everything is packaged very neatly. Design of the packaging is designed for the product itself. You can just tell that when, when you open the box for the cart, the barrel sit, sat all the way through the stacks of the punch outs. Like it was just very cleverly designed. The plastic containers that the punch outs came in for uh, the miniatures, all the miniatures once assembled fit in those plastic containers and they are adorable reusable plastic container. So I, I think it's really rare to find a company that's very mindful of the packaging and even thinking ahead of like how the miniatures are gonna be stored. They actually provide the storage for customers within the packaging, which I think is really innovative. My absolute favorite things out of all the miniatures and carts and wagons are the dogs. I love them. Thank you very much, CZYY, for those. I really like the cage, as do my boys. They were playing with it a lot, and it did come apart when they were playing with it, so I ended up gluing it so it would be uh, a permanent fit. Um, but ultimately, I think it's really clever that the door works, it swings open, and it, you can fit actual miniatures in there. So I really like that they're mini like they're miniatures but they also work they there's usually some mechanic that actually swings or opens uh so i think that's really cool i also liked those little annoying boxes they were a pain to put together but i love the way they look i love the way they feel and i'm really excited to incorporate them in a DD &D session in the future and that kind of brings me into the part of the video what i want to talk about is uh, the eco element, the eco friendliness of this product. So when I review board games, I always rate the game for being eco friendly as well as my overall rating. But um, also I, I look at like how uh, they were eco friendly when they built when they designed board games. So for CZYY, I do want to give them at least two stars, and that is for not having any plastic in the actual game pieces. And secondly, I really think they did an outstanding job with the packaging. And not only is it not one use plastic, it's a durable, reusable plastic that I can use for, um, for years to come. So I think when it comes to sustainability, part of that is thinking about the packaging and how uh, we can make those products last as long as possible. So I think they actually did a really good job. I would like to know where the wood is sourced from. Uh, I didn't see any sustainability statements on the CZYY website, so I'd really like to see them talking about their um, impacts on the environment more and get a better idea of where the wood is being sourced from. I would love if CZYY was using an FSC certified wood. I'm kind of thinking it's not because if it was, I'm sure that they would talk about that. Maybe someday in the future they'll switch to that. For now, it is a D&D &D accessory that is non-plastic. 
However, it isn't necessarily the most sustainable option. However, when I compare the packaging, you can see the drastic difference between the amount of miniatures that CZYY provides and the amount of, of waste that their packaging creates as opposed to the other mainstream brands. You're getting much less miniature wise and a lot more packaging. So I really appreciate CZYY for cutting out that one use plastic and going in a more sustainable direction. If you'd like to check out some of my videos about eco-friendliness and sustainability in board game, I'll link some of those above as well. All right, I, I, overall, I really, really like CZYY as a company. I think that their products are really fun to build and they are very satisfying once they're built. They're fun to play with, they're clever, they're mechanical, and um, I just would highly recommend them. If you're looking for something kind of different for your D&D &D session, definitely check them out. They have a lot of cool products. Thank you so much for spending the, this time with me and watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. One more thing before I leave, I just wanted to let you know I am going to be painting all of these miniatures. I like to use a watercolor for these and so just keep your eye out for that video in the future.